Hi again then guys and welcome to episode 10 of Dirt Masters Unplugged. For those of you who are perhaps new to the series, this is a fusion between special projects and Dirt Masters. And basically we are taking machines which are generally not used for rally and turning them into highly competitive rally spec machines. And in this episode we're featuring a hugely competitive car both on the road and on the dirt track, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, aka GTO. It kind of works on both of the models, but the GTO that I've gone for in particular is the 1995 model, which has the most power of any of the 3000 GTs or GTOs at 942 brake horsepower. So this is a non-premium car, so obviously there are no body kits or flat floors to be fitted. And it has dirt tyres, which means that the rims are irrelevant. So all I've done to it is painted it red and fitted a wing. So there's no real point in me just showing you how to fit red paint in a wing. I think most of you guys probably already know how to do that. So we'll go straight to the garage for the tune setup and then out to the track to see how it performs. So for the setup on this particular rally spec model, I've got dirt tyres of course. For the brakes I've increased the front brake balance to 7, reduced the rear to 3. For the ride height we've increased that to 150 front and rear. Springs we've got on 625 front and rear. Dampers and anti-roll to 4. Neutral camber and tow. For the gearbox we've got an auto setting of 205. Then we've rounded off the gears to 3, 2, 1450, 1100, 18 or 885. 740 and a final drive of 4. For the diff we've got the highest initial torque on the rear, lowest on the front, highest acceleration sensitivity on both and lowest braking, a torque split of 3070, all the power upgrades of course and you want your mid-range turbo on this one. You can of course fit NOS but you don't really need it, it's already got more than enough power. Downforce we've got as high as possible and of course the full weight loss package. So a relatively simple setup for this car, pretty much just fit everything. And now let's go to the track to see what it can do. Now this tune, more so probably than any of the other Dirt Masters tunes that I've done so far, is really a professional grade tune. I would specifically not recommend this tune, or this car, certainly with this tune, but in general with full power to less experienced rally drivers because you'll end up just slamming into walls and getting annoyed with yourself and the car and to really get the best out of the performance you need to have at least some experience in rally driving. You don't necessarily need to be an amazing rally driver, you just need to understand the physics of rallying and what you need to do to get a car around a corner. Which is more difficult than it sounds, I'm not insulting anyone by saying that, it's, it, it is an art. So this car is very competitive. I mean, for a street car, it, it actually performs like a Pikes Peak machine and it handles its power amazingly well. There are not that many vehicles which could have over 900 horsepower and still be relatively good around corners. But this car really does. It has a very good power to weight ratio, a very good weight distribution as well, which lends itself towards rallying. And, as you'd expect, it's extremely quick. There's a massive, massive amount of torque, huge power, and relatively low weight. It's lighter than the Tajima E-Runner, for instance, and has more power. Now, with NOS, this would be an absolutely insane machine on the rally track. And like I said in the tuning section of this video, you don't really need NOS. It's got so much power. But, of course, if you want to fit NOS, that would be a lot of fun. Now, as far as how competitive it is against actual Pikes Peak machines like the Escudo or the Pikes Peak SX4, well, I'm not sure, because I haven't actually put it up against those cars. But based on the performance and the feel of the handling of this car, I think it would be very competitive. Especially against cars like the Tajima E-Runner, in particular, because of its weight disadvantage compared to this car, but also potentially the Escudo, to be honest, because although the Escudo is very quick, it's also quite large and cumbersome, whereas this car is relatively compact as far as rally cars go, although obviously it's not an official rally model. 
So for those of you guys who do decide to fit this tune, obviously I, I hope you find it fun and competitive. And that's it for this Dirt Masters Unplugged build. So I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.